<laughs> hey guys, what's going on? My name is Jinder, also known as Jinder Spice. Yes, I'm back. Every single Tuesday, 7 p.m. Eastern time, I will be sharing a delicious from scratch recipe with you guys that you guys can make at home really quick, really easy. Today, we're gonna be making green Thai curry authentic. I used to live in Thailand for, I lived there for like two years and I got to uh, learn how to use the spices, the herbs, different ingredients that we use in our everyday culture here in Canada. Well, they use it different there. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make a quick dish this is the best green Thai curry you will ever make, and this will only take you roughly 20, 30 minutes. Biggest part is obviously the chicken, and that takes you eight minutes at high heat, but I'm gonna show you guys from scratch how to do this and how to make the most amazing green Thai curry dish you've ever had and blow your friends away. Yes, I tell you guys I'm not a chef, but look, I can cook. My food tastes good and it's authentic and nothing is store-bought. You don't have to throw something in. This is all from scratch and you know what? You'll be uh, impressing some people at home. Okay, so for those of you who are vegan uh, or vegetarian, uh, you can substitute the chicken out for tofu or extra veg. And before we get started, we're gonna quickly get the rice going. I have a pot here for the rice. I already measured out one cup uh, of rice. So I already washed it. So I'm gonna throw that right in the pan here. Alrighty. The best ratio for rice, in my opinion, is two to one. So I have one cup of rice in there and we're just gonna throw in two cups of water. And we're gonna just take a little pinch of salt, throw that in there, thumb-sized ginger, uh, my thumb, cut it up. And uh, we're just gonna plop that right into the rice here. We'll give it a little ginger-infused uh, flavoring. Capiche, the rice is being done. We're gonna put a timer on for it. As you can see, the rice is coming to a nice little boil, so at this point, we're just gonna you know, turn the handle away. We're gonna put it on low heat, right there. We're gonna take our little cover. Timer's on for 12 minutes. I'm just gonna cover that baby right up. And that's it. Step two. Now is the fun little exciting part. We're gonna make the paste for the green Thai curry. So get out your food processor. Got mine right here. What are we gonna put in here? For the paste, we got four pieces of garlic, right there, little cloves of garlic, pop those in. We got a thumb-sized ginger, throw that in there, boom. We got some lemongrass, so the cool thing about lemongrass is you gotta spank the crap out of it. I know, I'm not hurting it, don't worry. Spank it away, spank it away. Spank, spank, spank. Trust me, spank. Okay, so now the reason why we're spanking it is because it all pulls apart. See, look at this, it's just ripping right apart. Okay, it comes right apart, as you can see. You gotta spank it. So as you see, it just rips right apart. And that we're gonna shove right in. Two shallots, throw those right in there, boom, boom. Big bunch of coriander, cilantro. Break that apart. Throw that in there. Easy as that. Look at that. Look at that paste. All right, guys. As you can see, the paste has been made right there. All right, guys, now for the chicken. We're gonna put our other pot on pretty high heat over here. I think this is a good time for a coffee break. Always take time to have coffee, ladies and gentlemen. This is a really quick dish. Like I said, this isn't something that you need to spend hours with. This can be done literally in 15, 20 minutes. Uh, my favorite is hazelnut. So let's put that in here. I've been having a lot of fun cooking for you guys. Uh, if you haven't checked out my other videos, the vegan butter chicken, butter tofu dish, the chicken hunting, which is an Indian specialty dish, uh, my world famous 
scrambled eggs. That was my third video ever. If you haven't checked those out, make sure you guys go and watch those, try those recipes out. Let me know if you guys enjoyed the video, uh, what type of dishes you would like to see. My eyes are watering because of the onion that I uh, puree out here for the taste. But uh, yeah, also make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you guys like this video, comment. I really appreciate it if you share it with your friends and uh, Long story short, I'm not going nowhere. I'm gonna be here every Tuesday making an epic dish for you guys. Okay, our pot is warming up over here as you can see. We're gonna take some avocado oil. You can take any oil of your preference. You can use coconut oil. I like avocado because there's no like taste to it really. Whereas with coconut, sometimes you can, you can actually taste the underlying coconut. I don't wanna do that for this dish. We're gonna drop in 750 grams of chicken thighs. Why I'm using chicken thighs, it's juicier, uh, it's cheaper, and uh, it just tastes way better, in my opinion. Way better than chicken breast. So drop that in, be careful. So what we're gonna do is just let this chicken just uh, fry up for eight full minutes. Cover that baby up. As you can see, the rice is finito. Beautiful, wonderful. We're gonna take that off the heat here. When we put it into the bowl, we're gonna turn it right out. And give it a good little mix. Dry that right up. So the chicken is cooking up on high heat here. It's just doing its thing. As you can see, it's almost done. It only needs eight full minutes, especially with the size that we have cut up the chicken to. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna grab some mushrooms. So take one, two, three, four, five mushrooms, chokeones, and then we're also gonna take some carmine mushrooms. One, two, three, four of those. So have fun with the mushrooms. Give them a quick wash. You always want to wash your mushrooms. All right, with your mushrooms, you can do some smaller, different shapes. They're always fun with Thai food. You can do them thin. I like just, you know, keeping them nice and bulky. And last one. What we're gonna do, we're gonna put the mushrooms right in with the chicken. Why? The mushrooms are gonna soak up some of the fat that's being released as well. It's gonna make it taste really good, so let's do that. We're gonna move the chicken over to the side. And we're just gonna go ahead and drop these mushrooms right in. Nice. Oh yeah, beautiful. Close that lid up. So behind me we have the mushrooms and the chicken. And they're just doing their thing. And it's about time we can add the paste in. So what we're gonna do, is we're gonna take this, and I'm just gonna rip, get a bit of the paste off the lid first. You don't wanna waste any of this, this is all really good stuff. So as you can see, nice little paste. I'm gonna drop that all in there. this all right up in here. Mmm, that's smelling good. At this point, we're gonna take our Thai kitchen coconut milk. Ah, 
I honestly am fascinated how food could just turn out so amazing. Super simple guys, we're just, you know, doing this real time. At this point we are going to take the Mangtut, uh, also known as the Snow Peas, and we are going to drop it right into the, right into the mix jar, like a little as so. So that is now mixed, we are going to cut up a lime, now that the lime is cut up, we are going to take the lime. We are going to squeeze the lime juice into as this. We are going to take the other piece of lime and mix that into this. We are going to take the last remaining lime, mix that in. Lime is super important for this. I recommend one and a half. I have one here. Boom! That's all good. Take some basil. Fresh basil. Take some of that. Finally chop it. I just love basil. So the more basil, the better, in my opinion. Thank God for fingernails, or else my thumb would be gone. I'm gonna throw that in there. Bam. Boom. And mix this right up. The main tooth takes about two minutes to uh, finish, so that's kind of like your timer. There you have it, the finished product. Of course, you can uh, you can veg it up with whatever you want. You throw cauliflower in there, you can throw whatever. And of course, over here we got the rice. And just have a fork and just kind of fluff it up because you want to be nice and fluffed. And of course, it's gonna be ginger infused because of the uh, ginger pieces that we threw in. So those you can just take right out, just like that. Look at that, nice and fluffy. That's perfect rice right there. All right guys, there you have it. There's my green Thai curry. Super simple with chicken. And as you can see, it looks delicious. I'm gonna do a little taste test here because uh, I wanna send you guys home with a shitty recipe. So let's do that. I'm gonna grab out my, my little spoon here. It's the curry that I'm trying. I'll try a little piece of chicken with it. Let's see if this lives up to the ginger spice recipes, and I'm pretty sure it does. Mmm. Mmm, that tastes freaking good. Woo! Did it again. Ladies and gentlemen, make sure you guys don't forget to subscribe, make sure you like the video, make sure you guys try this dish and make it at home yourself because it's amazing and let me know in the descriptions below if you're enjoying these videos. I will have better videography in my next videos so don't you guys worry but everything on this channel is authentic, everything tastes good and I try my best to be vegan and vegetarian based. Obviously the chicken is not vegan or vegetarian but what, I, what you guys know what I'm talking about. And uh, last but not least, I love you guys so much. Make sure you guys go check out my Facebook page. Make sure you guys go check out all my socials, my Instagram channel right here, and then one for Ginger Spice right here. I love you guys. Thanks so much for joining me in my kitchen. And from my kitchen to your kitchen, I love you. Mwah!